shaking lab rats. Um, so we talked, was it last week? We talked about um, instead of big powerful pushes, taking those quick powerful pushes because the big powerful pushes often created a lot more energy, uh, movement than you needed. So a lot of energy was being wasted. Um, but then it also opened up big, uh, big gaps, big holes, and, and then there's more space too to have to close down. So that was last week and it'll be somewhere in the thread. Oh, you know what too? Um, Liam, thanks so much everybody for helping Liam out. So Liam is the guy, the goalie that posted the video. He's only been playing for a little while, like six months. He posted some video of himself and uh, pick up and just ask, hey, for feedback. And um, number one, I love that he did that. That's that's um, pretty, can be like, <laughs> you're putting it out there, right? But I love, and this is, again, like, like this is, like this is a free Facebook group. <laughs> like, so it's not, uh, it's not a money maker, but what I wanted was to get just um, awesome goalies who are action takers give us a place where we can hang out. So it's, I don't even think of it as mine. It's like, it's ours and this is where we hang out. Um, kind of like the shutout lounges for the shutout academy. It's a little different because I go on there and do more interaction and sort of, you know, semi-private coaching and stuff. But I wanted that same idea and, and they get all their programs or anything. But <laughs> I wanted it to be kind of that same community feeling. So I love that, that so many of you helped out and you had great advice and you showed too like, hey, this is a community where we're all trying to get better, whether, you know, we're playing in the NCAA or AAA or men's league or adult league um, or just started, you know, we're just, hey, how can, I, how can I help you be a little bit better? So thank you so much for doing that. It's, uh, it was like, it made me go like, yes, like this is, this is what, what I hoped for. But anyway, today what I wanted to talk about was, um, Again, agility from your knees. So I know a lot of you don't actually do any goalie specific agility work and you really should because even just working on those patterns and it's not what you think, it's not smashing into your butterfly and adding a bunch of wear and tear to your hips and you know pretending I'm in the butterfly. It's not that. So be careful because some people when they try to do off ice goalie agility they're actually just causing even more wear and tear to their hips that, that you don't need. But you know, even if we work on, geez, like I'm, um, like when I do a butterfly push um, to my left, I'm pretty good because I'm pretty good at pushing off my right. But if I have to slide to my um, to my right, I'm not very good at pushing on my left. You know, you can just very easily do some quick like recovery and then lateral balance, that kind of thing. So you should be doing some some of that work. But you should also be doing some agility from your knees. So probably the last two off seasons we've done more with our goalies because sometimes too you know you're in your butterfly and then the puck's still you know in close so it's like and I don't know I'm not I'm a terrible goalie but for me it's like you know what if I go to stand up I'm gonna be opening big gaps I think I'm better here just to try and cover from my knees until I get a chance to actually pop up so you know and and, and again like does my positioning go to hell, heck when I'm on my knees? So, you know, do I start sitting back and doing funny, weird things that aren't, you know, aren't proper? Or do I stay up and keep that, you know, you know how, like, you want to have this seam on your pants straight, but actually have your torso a little bit forward. Not sitting your bum back, but tall in your hips, but a little forward in your chest. So can I actually move without just tipping over? Um, so work on you know some of those things it's always going to be quick little pushes because you, you can't do like big powerful pushes there's there's no purchase there from your knees so it's just going to be thinking about getting those quick lateral pushes staying level in your shoulders level in your hips a little bit of change of direction and that will help you um and it's a good way to help kind of um I guess strengthen my groins, but build a little bit of stamina in my groins when I'm using them in a different way. So we're not going to overdo it. It's just like putting those hot pepper flakes in the spaghetti sauce. It's just a little bit. So you're like, oh, is there a bit of hot pepper in here? <laughs> not so much that it's like, ah, 
<laughs> However, um, so that's just a little tip for you there. Uh, you guys know you've put too much hot pepper in you. Um, oh, I lost. Oh, you're back. Whew. Um, I'm in the back of the gym and the Wi-Fi isn't that good. These are the Reebok knee pads that I used to wear before I moved to the Warrior um, knee pads. And um, if you like them, it's awesome. I didn't like them very much. They sort of fell down. And also my knee still hurt from when I would drop in a butterfly. I'd still uh, feel like I was getting a bruise on my knee. So that's why, that's why I switched to the Warrior ones that I like. Because we I remember we were talking about knee pads. Um, in the thread earlier this week, but um, they looked really good. I thought they'd be really bulky, like like give me good protection, but just for me and maybe too, because I got like skinny little legs, <laughs> so maybe they were sliding around a little bit too. But uh, no offense, Reebok. I'm, no offense, I'm just sharing my experience. <laughs> All right, gang, you gotta you guys should get back to work. Jeez, it's almost two o'clock. I'll catch you later. See you.